Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. I wanted to make a brief video on an experience that Stephanie and I had recently watching the TV show Severance. Uh, it's on Apple TV, in case you haven't seen it, and um, it's basically about a guy who signs up to work for a corporation that that surgically puts a chip in his brain that divides his memories from his work life and his normal life. So he goes into work and does his thing, and when he comes out, has no clue where, he, why he's in there, what he's doing. And then when he goes to work, he has no clue what's in his personal life, who he is, what he's doing. It's completely segregated. Uh, it's a pretty crazy concept, but super interesting. We loved it. We were watching it. We were getting in the episodes. It was awesome. And then we got to the end of, I think, episode three, it might be. And one of the guy's friends who escapes the corporation and gets on the outside is trying to push the main character to freedom. But in actuality, this guy is still having um, some kind of captivity towards the corporation. And I guess the thing in his brain has maybe not been removed or something like that. And he ends up having, at the end of an episode, a very dark scene where he uh, completely breaks down. He has like a multiple personality disorder thing going on. He's looking in the mirror, seeing someone different. The thing in the mirror is looking at him, back at him. It's completely fragmented and he's weeping and it's really heavy, really terrible. And we watched that and Stephanie was kind of, tears were welling up and I just felt really heavy. And I didn't want to say anything at first because I really liked the show. And I knew if I said something, we probably weren't going to watch it because we I was feeling convicted because, you know, this is weird. It's like it's an, it's it's not like the normal like, oh, there's a lot of nudity or a lot of gore. And so, yeah, this is an obvious skip. This was just very, very dark. So I knew if I said something, but then I was like, I got to say something because if we're not supposed to be watching this, we should be watching it. So I told Stephanie how I was feeling. She was like, I feel the same way. I feel the exact same way. She was weeping. She wasn't weeping, but she was crying and she just, and then I, I started to reflect on more on what I was feeling and it, what I was sensing was a rejection from the spirit. Like, like the Holy Spirit inside me was pushing out what I just consumed. Uh, it, he was like, no, the Lord was like, I'm not pleased with this. I don't like watching my creatures suffer and be glamorized through a television show. And it just felt very like ugh, repulsed and like putrid and just no, like this is not good. The Lord is not enjoying this. He abhors this. He laments over his creatures when they're broken. And so I explained all that to Stephanie and she completely agreed. And we made the, I mean, it's not a hard decision. It's just a TV show. But, you know, when you find a good show that you like, it's hard to say no to it. But we made the decision to say, no, we're not going to watch this. Um. And we just, man, I've never had a conviction like that from the spirit over a show just because it was dark. And that shows you how powerful the, the videography was because it was a really dark scene. The guy was broken down in pieces and the, the ment his, ment uh, his brain being fragmented and destroyed and his life destroyed. And he's captive to this corporation, even though he's outside of it. I, I just felt like this, like, the Lord was saying, like, I don't want this. I don't like, the, I don't want to see my creatures broken like that. That's not how I made them to be. And this show is glamorizing that for entertainment. It's just a TV show. But the reality is people suffer with that now through all kinds of different ways. Multiple personality disorder and all kinds of other stuff. Mental issues are real. So what that show, show was, that episode was showing was, a reality for a lot of people and the Lord is not a fan of that. He loves his creatures so much. He doesn't want to seem broken down for the entertainment of other people. And so, yeah, I just felt like this repulsion and this conviction and this lamenting over the scene and like, Oh man, it was so clear that it was from the spirit. Y'all know what I'm talking about when you know it's, it's like, Oh, maybe that was for me. Like, no, this was <laughs> so clear coming from the spirit. It was very cool in that way. And yeah, we reflected on it for the rest of the night, talked about it. And what actually a verse that came into my mind as I was deciding was 2 Corinthians 6, 
which says, um, you know, what fellowship shall light have with darkness? And typically that's topic, talking about um, unbelievers with other believers not being unequally yoked in that way. But the Lord brought that portion, just that one line to my mind as I was deciding. And I was like, okay, I got it very clear. You know, the Lord, you know, the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. And Yahweh, the one who created us, loves his creatures. He is full of lightness and love. There's not an ounce of maliciousness in him. What fellowship would the Holy Spirit want to have with something that dark, something polluted with the enemy that heavily? What would he want to have to do with that? It just makes sense, right? So no wonder I was feeling that repulsion and that like, Lech, get it out and don't watch this. And no wonder Stephanie was feeling that too. And so I just wanted to share that real quickly. You know, we felt very at peace when we when we made the decision to not watch that show. It was definitely the right decision and we feel very good about it. Um, so I would say, you know, just be careful with what you're watching, what you're putting into your brain. Um, excuse me. And pray about it, you know, and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you because that's what he does. You know, the Holy Spirit, the force of the Lord that lives inside of us, leads us in truth and leads us away from darkness. He keep, we, we stay in step with him, right? That's what we want. And so I would just say, you know, if you sense anything while you're watching a show that might not be like, um, you know, maybe that's that wasn't a normal thought for you or maybe you were uh, sensing something you normally wouldn't sense, just stop, stop and say, Lord, is that from you? You know, really, really pray in that moment. Say, should I be ingesting this? Maybe it doesn't have nudity and violence and all that stuff. But the Lord, <laughs> it, it might be something else. It might just be very, very dark. And the Lord doesn't want that. It might just be an idol for you. I don't know. There's there's a ton of different things. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make a blanket statement and say, don't watch this show. No one's allowed to watch this show. <laughs> but it was the right decision for us. And so I wanted to encourage you and, um, you know, just just ask you to pray through what you're watching, what kind of media you're consuming in your life, and to be careful with that and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you into things that are okay to watch and lead you away from things that are not okay to watch. So I hope that's encouraging. I hope you're blessed by that. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.